Hello and welcome to Yoga Vidya practice video. Carlotta and Sirka welcome you to abdominal relaxation position. In between the backward bends and after backward bends, usually you relax on your abdomen. Now Carlotta and Sirka are in the basic posture where the hands are underneath your head, underneath your temples, head is towards the side, big toes touching, heels falling apart. That is the basic position of relaxation pose on the abdomen. You can also put your hands underneath your cheek instead of underneath your temple. Or you can put your hands in front of your head or over your head. Sometimes this is more relaxing. Some people find it even more relaxing if you put your arms next to your body and relax like that. For most people, the position with your head towards the side is most relaxing. But some students find it better to keep the forehead on the floor. Some even find it helpful to keep their hands on each other and the head on the forehead. Even though most people find that unusual and not even relaxing, some students find that relaxing. So especially for a yoga teacher, keep this in mind. Or you can have your hands in front of your head, forehead on the floor. It is also possible to have different positions of your feet. Carlotta and Sirka will first put the hands and the head to the basic relaxation position, meaning head, hands on each other and head to the side. Normally, both big toes are touching and heels are falling apart. Now some students find it more helpful if the toes are not touching toes arm apart. So if this is more relaxing, then you do it this way. Some students even find it more helpful if the heels are towards the inside and the toes are towards the outside. Some keep the heels together, some keep the heels apart. Some students, especially with certain back problems or those who are pregnant or have more weight, find it more relaxing in the baby Krishna pose, Gopalasana, called Gopalasana. One knee is bent, head is towards the side, and one arm is next to the body. So find a position in which you can relax the best. And if you're a yoga teacher, suggest different abdominal relaxation postures so your students can really relax when it's time to relax in the yoga class. Thank you for watching. Carlotta and Sirka and Sukadev wish you an inspiring yoga practice, a relaxing yoga practice. All the best. More information on yoga on our internet pages yoga-vidya.org